Hey, I have a really simple question for you this week that you probably will be able to answer rather quickly, but I want you to think about it. Is it ever okay to tell a lie? Think about that. Is it ever okay to lie to someone? Now, comedians love to joke that if your wife walks into the room and she's wearing a new pair of jeans and she turns around and says, do these jeans make my butt look big? <laughs> they say you should lie. They say, no, if you wanna have a happy wife and a happy life, don't tell her the truth. But is that really the right thing to do? Doesn't your wife really want to know whether or not she looks good in those pants? Is there any way that you could possibly think of to tell the truth without getting in trouble? Like, I don't know. Well, honey, you have other pants that accentuate your positives a little better than those. I mean, I'm just spitballing. I, but there's gotta be a way to be able to deliver the truth because lying isn't right, right? I mean, it's the ninth commandment. You shall not tell, bear false witness, tell a lie. Uh, Proverbs 26, 28 says, a lying tongue hates those that it hurts. <laughs> you know, I remember years ago, I'll never forget this. There was a little boy sitting with his brothers on a Wednesday night at church, sitting at a round table. His parents were off getting their food. And he sat down with this huge plate of food and a big, beautiful piece of cake. He grabs his fork and immediately starts digging into that cake. Now, I was standing behind him. He had no idea I was watching. And after he ate about half that cake, he put his fork down. And then I walked up to him and said, Oh my gosh, somebody has eaten half of your cake. What happened to your cake? And he immediately pointed at his brother. Now, isn't that interesting? He was covering his tracks. He was placing blame. His brothers are going, I didn't, I didn't eat your cake. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, but he was lying because he didn't want to get in trouble. And that's what we do when we lie. We tell a lie to cover our tracks. We've done something wrong. We've committed a sin and we don't want to get in more trouble. So we try and cover our mistake or our sin. Right now, the question is, did Joe Biden actually have business dealings with his son? I don't know whether he did or didn't. Joe Biden has said that he did not, and he has repeated that multiple times. If at any point there is some proof that he did, then he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. But at this point, he has said, I did not. We'll have to find out when time comes whether he did or didn't. But I can think of an example in scripture, at least one, where it seems as if God kind of turns a blind eye to a lie. This weekend, I'm preaching on Rahab, the prostitute, and her story is in Joshua, Joshua 2 particularly, where these two spies are sent from Joshua, the Israelite camp, out to spy out Jericho. And they wanna see how the city is fortified and how they can defeat the city and so forth. And the spies go to Rahab's house. Now the king gets word that the spies are in the area, so he sends soldiers to her house and wants to know if she's harboring these spies, to which she says, no, I'm not. And she basically says, they paid their bill and left. You know, if you go now, you might be able to catch them. But she was actually hiding them up in her roof. She brings them down and she makes a deal with them because she knows God is with the Israelites and she wants to save herself and her family. And so she says, I wanna make a deal with you. And they said, you hang a scarlet cord in your window and you keep all your family in your house and we'll save you when the day comes. If anybody's outside the house, that's on them. Can't make any promises, but if they're in your house, we'll save them, and they did. It's a great story in the Bible, especially because God used this woman who's a known prostitute, and her story is still told to this day. One of the ways that I think the Bible proves itself to be a really true document. Why would you tell a story about a prostitute and just make that up? That's a really cool story. But the question I have for you is, is there anything in your life you're not being honest about? I've had time in my past where I was dishonest and I lied to people and I did it to cover my tracks. And I'm ashamed of that and it should never have happened. And I should have thought of Proverbs 26, 28 in those moments, a lying tongue hates those that it hurts. But I was just trying to protect myself, trying to cover my tracks and it was wrong. Well, what about you? Or, or is, is everything in your life honest? Are you being honest with people about 
how you're spending your money, where you're going, who you're spending time with, who you're talking to on a telephone, who you're communicating with in social media. Are you being honest? Are you being honest with your workplace? Are you making sure that you're, you're telling your time accurately on your time card? You know, the other day I was asked by my boss how many PTO days I'd used, and I said only one. And then I remembered later that I had used another one. So I wrote him an email and said, no, I've used two. Now, if I had remembered that and not told him that, I would have been lying. And I didn't want to lie. I don't want to be a person who doesn't tell the truth ever again. And so the question I have for you is, is there anything that you are doing in your life right now or anything going on that you're not being truthful about? Are you hiding uh, an addiction or something from people? I don't know, that they've confronted you about and you've lied about it. We've got to be truth tellers. We're not called to be liars. Lying is the native language of Satan. He is the, a liar and the father of lies, Jesus said. So when we lie, we're speaking the language of Satan, which we don't want to do. And so here's my challenge to you. If there's an area of your life where you need to come clean, come clean. Are there going to be consequences? Yes. But if you get found out, there are going to be consequences anyway. You need to get clean. You need to purge yourself of lies so that you're being honest and walking in truth. Remember Proverbs 26, 28, a lying tongue hates those that it hurts. You may think you don't hate anybody, but you're hating those you're lying to. And that is a painful, painful thought. Love speaks the truth, the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 13. Keep walking with Jesus, I will too, and get yourself clean if you need to this week. Get things right in your life. It's the beginning of a right life with Christ, and I'll see you next week.